after the spring 2021 eruption of the Fagerdesville volcano, we had a simplistic view about the position of the magma reservoir within the earth crust. But after that, I developed this idea of the a magma reservoir, like a sponge, actually, full of cracks. This is a hydrothermal system there. Actually filling up like an aquifer with water and then letting it out. This developed later to the magma reservoir sitting on the top of the mantle and feeding the uh, uh, shallower magma reservoir. Based on the borehole data, I uh, presented this model which is more accurate in that sense. And I noticed that also the Icelandic Meteorological Office has similar understanding of that. Uh, very good, uh, you know, scientific work it means it was. And this uh, diagram developed. And then this fascinating uh, model came up from the University of Iceland, a deep uh, magma reservoir at the depth of 8 to 15 kilometers feeding a shallower uh, reservoir, six to seven kilometer deep, which we call Swartzengi Reservoir. And then this comes back oh, to my original idea model that you can see, a deeper magma reservoir and a shallower one. Our data shows that this is what we can see through the geophysical data. This is the depth of the earthquakes just from this week. As you can see, there is something from a depth of the uh, 10 to nine kilometer rise into the depth of the seven and the six kilometers. This potentially can be the move due to the movement of the magma inside the cracks, which are opening practically, extension of the Eurasian and the American plate creating this. And the position of them, exactly the uh, location of the recent eruption, the Storrs Cockfell volcano, that's the name I've given to it. And this is the position of that vent that we had just seen the eruption there and then the season of activity is going to erupt it seems in that location as we can see the earlier stages is from the depth to the shallow reservoir and then from the shallow reservoir we will have the eruption from the depth of the six to seven kilometers to the surface and our model shows that this is the moment of the eruption in a recent six eruption, you can see that from that depth of the seven to six rise into the surface. We are seeing practically through the earth by this. We can also measure the GPS, that's the height of the ground, due to the uh, accumulation of the magma, adding to the height, bulging it up, and we measure the distance of the ground surface with the, um, and the satellite, and we can notice this rise. And this is the rise we are seeing now. At the depth of the 10 to 7 kilometers, something is rising. It can be the model that I presented. And this can be the model of the University of Iceland. Valid. Both of them are valid. Good science this is.